Hello, this is David Dustin, and I wanted to show you quickly one of the new features that we have built into Max 1.2, I'm sorry, Clouds to Max 1.2. And that's essentially that we can drape a mesh or points on top of a point cloud. So we have a section of a scan here of a roadway. I chose this because it's actually on a hill, which would make it a little more difficult to do. So what I've done is I've created a mesh and if we look at it from the top view, you see that I've made it so that it is essentially, uh, it, it's over the top of the, the usable roadway. I have not gone back into the curb area here. Uh, we could, but uh, most times a surface like this is going to be used uh, potentially for vehicle simulations or you know something of that nature. So I've created this mesh that is directly above the uh, scan data. And so what we can do is we can create under the help file, under uh, helper and clouds to max, we can create an edit box that's going to encompass this scan area that we want to use. So I've already created one. And you see that when this, uh, this edit box is is highlighting the scan data, uh, then we uh, have some other options here. So once we select the edit box and go under its properties here, there are several things we can do. We can blur the colors, which we've talked about before, but we can also do something called vertex draping. And what vertex draping is, is essentially pushing the vertices of this mesh down onto the top of the scan. So and leaving the scan in its uh, with its default settings and creating this mesh, if I press the Create Projection button, I'm given an option of the mesh to choose. And you see that the results we have are not really very good. That's an understatement. So the reason for this is that even though our scan data looks like it's fairly dense, it actually isn't. There are holes in there. And so that's what's happening is there's uh, nowhere for the, the vertices to actually uh, impact with the, the cloud surface. So I'm going to delete that and I'm actually going to change here on, in the point cloud, I'm actually going to change the maximum size to 3, the detail per, per uh, pixel to 10, and this point scaling to 3. And so essentially what that does is that fattens up our scan area. So now when we run the same procedure and we choose to create our projection, choosing our street and OK, you'll notice that the mesh has been placed down on top and conforms very nicely to the scan data. So if I turn this off, turn this off, and actually turn the point cloud off, you see that we've created a very nice tapered, uh, contoured mesh. Now if we wanted to actually capture the, the color texture off of the point cloud, we can do that as well. To actually capture the color of the uh, point cloud or scan data, and transfer it to your mesh, there's actually, there's another new feature that's built in. And here we can, uh, choosing our edit box, in our options, we can choose to create what's called a color map. And so when we choose to create that projection, we're asked which mesh that we would like to use as a pattern. And then we give it a name. So we'll just call this street three. And if we look under the texture, you notice that there are some red lines going through our texture. Obviously, this is not going to work. The way to fix that is inside of Max, under the options, increase the super sampling. Increase it to about 5, and then create the projection again and we'll call this street 4.
and it might take a while for this to actually complete. But then when you open it and look at the texture, you see that the red gaps are gone. So essentially the super sampling is going to fill that back in. Now, if we want to actually apply this texture in Max, you can take the texture that you've just created and we will turn on our projected mesh and turn all these other items off. We'll just drag this on top of our mesh. And as we look at our texture, it's actually really good. And if we render it, this is just a quick render, but it looks very good. So essentially we are transferring the RGB values of our point cloud onto a mesh. Thank you.